Hi, I'm Jack, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. I have a problem. It's not a bad problem, but it's a problem I'm looking to the community to see if you guys have any ideas to help me out with my project. Now, my project is going to be a, a solar generator, and I have smaller ones, like a 20 amp hour, maybe one that's late, maybe 30 amp hours, but they're really not big enough for what I want. So what I want to do is I want to run a ACDC. It's one of the compressor fridges, like for overlanding. And I've got one or two. I got two different two different models. Um, probably going to run one at a time. And a lot of times it's going to either go in my Forerunner or in my truck, in the back seat of my truck. And then sometimes also uh, I use it in my box trailer or my motorhome. So I'm looking at something that I can hook this up to that will last three or four, maybe five days without any charging. Now I do have solar for it and I plan on hooking solar up to it also. So that's not a, a huge problem. And I do know that these two batteries, what I have is two 36 amp hour Miatis hooked together. So I have 72 amp hours of power. I've used it before, like I went to Yosemite here recently, uh, well it was a year or so ago, and I ran the fridge, I think I ran it for like four maybe five days without like one day I put um, like an hour of solar into it and I wasn't even getting very good solar that day so it really didn't help much but when I got home it was still running fine and no faults and that helps running lithium batteries because the voltage is higher so the refrigerator doesn't shut off on itself because the refrigerator will shut off when the voltage gets too low so like, so like if you have it hooked to your vehicle you can still start your vehicle. What I want to do is show you the parts that I've already purchased for this, see if there's anything you see that I might need to add to this or any ideas. And then I wanted to look at the two boxes. I have two boxes. I've changed my mind on boxes back and forth a couple times. I've run it in the small box and I will show that to you in a little bit here. But I've run it in that one a couple times, but all I really had in it was the two batteries and a cigarette lighter. My buddy Javi laughed at me because I just had the cigarette lighter loose uh, but it worked that's what I used at the time I didn't want to drill a bunch of holes in, in the box before I knew what I was going to do and then I changed my mind so let me show you all the parts I have and uh, like I said in the comments leave me comment leave me a comment of what you think I should add to it what maybe I should change any other ideas that you happen to have so let's take a look at what I have all right guys so here's the two boxes I have the big box is made by rigid Okay, let me uh, pull the other box out and I'll show it to you and we'll close the rigid. Now this box is a flambeau. This is the first one I've used. Actually the only one I've actually used for what I'm doing so far. It opens from the side over here. It opens up like that. I kind of like that, that feature in a way, but it's not a deal breaker or a maker. All right, now it does have a little bit of storage up in the top. Oh, and one of my parts for something else. So it does have this storage up here. It holds a little bit of stuff. It could be something that I could put, uh, if I decide to drill things in, I could drill them inside that, cover it up. But you'd have to open it to look at it, but it would be protected somewhat. Okay. All right. So that's the first box. Now, this is a, a rigid box. I picked this up pretty reasonably priced when I bought it. I think it was on sale, I forget exactly. But I, like I said earlier, I'll put links to everything, almost everything I think I can find on Amazon for you if you're interested in it. Now, let me see if this one had it. Yeah, that one has a place to lock. This one has a place to lock, but this one's reinforced with metal, okay? This one uh, also has these little features right here. So if I wanted to take this and with another box the same size as this, they make different heights and all the different kinds of things, and they lock together. So that's kind of a cool feature. The Flambeau does not have that feature. Now, when you compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges and all that stuff, this box construction is way more heavy duty than the Flambeau. They're different things, okay? They're different kinds of boxes. This is a tool box, basically, to put tools in. But I think it might work really well. And I'm kind of leaning this way. Now I will show you a, uh, a picture of inside my truck. I'll try to put that right here. And where the fridge is gonna go. It's got, it's got like a little platform there. And neither one really fits well 
you know, front to back of the truck with the fridge. Um, and what I'll probably do is put it, the battery system, no matter which box it is, on the on the driver's side. And I'm spreading the weight out a little bit from side to side. I got a three quarter ton pickup. I'm not too worried about the weight. Uh, you know, me and something else being on the same side. Okay, this one has a nice box inside. It has uh, a lot of room inside of it. Okay, Let's show this to you guys. It has, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but inside it has like little sections right in here, up there and over there and then on the sides that you can put like a piece of wood, like a thin piece of wood to, to, to section it off, which actually might come in real handy. The, I don't think the flambeau, let me look. No, the flambeau doesn't have anything like that. What that would be nice is I could probably get my batteries put into a spot to where I can kind of keep them from moving. Okay, and I'll probably put some way of strapping them down. Maybe even Velcro, the industrial stuff. That, that stuff really holds well. And all I want to do is keep it from sliding around so they don't bang into each other. All right. I'm going to use this as my platform. Oh, one other thing. The rigid came with this little box here too, okay? It's uh, pretty nice. It opens up, it's got a little room, and I've got parts in there I'll show you in a bit. All right. All right, first of all, let me show you my batteries. Now, they're already hooked together, and when I before I hooked them together, I charged both of them fully. And that's something that we, if you guys watch our show on Coffee and Ham Radios with Dennis, he said you should make sure that both of them are fully charged separately, then hook them together, and then charge them together after that, okay? So these are, of course, these are Miatis. I've had no problems with these at all. Like I told you guys earlier, uh, I, I've spent like four or five days straight with my fridge running on it. Uh, the weather was probably in the 70s and 80s, so uh, they're, they're not bad batteries. I'm not, re I'm not relying on these for life and death, okay guys, most likely. Uh, usually I'll be someplace where I can just drive to the store if I need more food, okay? So there's the batteries. And I'm using uh, the silicone wire, which is nice and um, pliable, 12 gauge. And I think for everything that I'm doing, I've, I've got some more I'll show you. Yes, yeah, 12 gauge. So 12 gauge should be enough. None, none of my runs are very long, all right? So let me move this out of the way. All right, first of all, I told you guys that my buddy Javi was laughing at me how I had this set up. This is what I had originally for just the, it's got a cigarette lighter plug on the refrigerator. And this is what I was using. I'm probably gonna change that because they don't stay in real well and I'm always worried that it gets unplugged and I, if I don't notice it, then then I will have problems with food spoiling and stuff like that. Or maybe your beer's being warm. So this is a nice heavy duty one. It's got 12 gauge at least on it also. Okay, and, it's, and you can take it off the bracket and you can drill a hole and it will mount inside also. So that's one thing I already had. Actually, I actually had that already from something else. Now I purchased a, uh, this is a uh, Giandel. I think that's how they say it. You guys can see it maybe. It's a 300 watt pure sine wave. And it has the uh, cigarette lighter type thing. And, I, and for now, I'm probably gonna leave that on. I'll probably take Velcro to this and attach it, especially on this box to one of the sides. So it doesn't move around. And I'll, I'll, I'll orient this part up so that I can use the utilize the plugs okay these are really well rated and it gets great reviews okay I told you guys I I got wire this is 12 gauge wire I bought extra because I was running kind of low on the stuff I already had the only way you really know if your battery is charged and what percentage it is is to put a shunt in okay and this is a shunt this is not a real expensive shunt but I don't really care it's gonna do what I want it to do. It'll give me a percentage of what my battery's at and what my solar and everything else. My solar controller is also gonna be able to tell me kind of how my batteries are also. It's in here, let me show it to you. And it just, it has things where you you make a small, a, a hole the size of the back of this and just, it sits inside and clips in. All right, let's just go through this box. So I am gonna run a, a fuse panel so then I bought a battery switch. I don't really need this, um, but I kind of want to put a battery switch so I can just 
click it and turn everything off. I bought uh, a, vol a voltage, and I'll try to I'll try to get closer pictures of these guys for you. Uh, this came as a kit along with this face plate that I found a minute ago. Uh, this is a USB C and a USB. This is three and a three three point oh. So I can charge. Uh, I've got one of those laptops that's 12 volt. I can charge that off of this if I want to also. And, and the inverters, like if I want to, if, if I bring a different laptop that's not 12 volt, I can probably charge it off of off of the inverter. It's always better to use 12 volt, guys. Uh, it's more efficient, I should say, to use 12 volt if you, when you can instead of running the inverter because you're using power to run the inverter to power something else. I hope that makes sense. Now, I found this is off a of Thingiverse. I'll try to make sure I get that in there. Let me show it to you. This is for power poles. Let me see if I can get it close enough where you guys can see it, maybe. Alright. And this is for XT60s. I also found this off the of Thingiverse. If these don't come out, I'll get better, better close-up pictures of them, guys. My solar stuff is probably going to run XT60. If I do any radio stuff, the power poles. Or vice versa. I can do both, okay? It depends on which solar system I use to hook to it also, okay? And you'll see that the solar has something different on it all together also. So I have those two. I have, I have a yellow and black of these, the XT60s. I've got the other part that goes in. These are pretty reasonably priced on Amazon, guys, for that kind of stuff. All right? All right, let's move on. Now, I did try to get fancy with this one. I don't know that I'm going to use these, and I need to reprint this one because I had some bad... Something fell off in it, but this is something that fits all the things that I bought, plus a few things that I haven't purchased yet, which are just like... I think they were just switches, okay? I've got this one, then I also have it in black, and they're actually, if you look at them, they're designed just a little bit different. This one's a little bigger. It's made to go, hopefully this is lined up, made to go across here. The other thing this does, let me show you one more thing on these parts. All right, so the other thing it does, um, these things, look how deep they are. So they stick way inside the box. So this would actually sit in there and I could space it out a little bit farther if I have to. Actually, I could space it if I wanted to, but I wouldn't do it like that. I would still take it against it. So it would go something like that. So it spaces out about a quarter inch. And I can make multiples of these or something else. I may make something different. I thought of something today. So until I do it, I don't know what I'm going to use. But I just decided to play with this Tinkercad. I'm, not very, I'm, I'm okay at it. I'm going to have a review on this pretty soon. This is a, this is a solar. Let me look, give you a kind of a close-up. It's still got the thing on it. I haven't even tested it yet. All right, this is a NPPT solar controller. Um, it's made by Bateria, something like that. B-A-T-E-R-I-A, -E power. And I also got, if you, as you notice, it's got SAE connectors. Now, SAE, <laughs> SAE connectors are nice. You can buy, and I have them. I, I don't have them out here. I'll try to show it to you, though. They've got the plug that you can put in the side of the box, and it has a cover for it, so it's kind of waterproof. The problem with these is they're easy. Sometimes you have to really watch the, the positive and negative because sometimes they're reversed and you could really damage something. But we're watch a watch for a review on this also, guys. Pretty 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 quick, probably this next week, a couple days from now. Because I am gonna test it. Now I also got some cables with it. And what's kind of nice is this cable has XT60. So if I do XT60 in here, the ones I showed, the ones I showed you a minute ago, it'll plug right in. And it's SAE on this side. It also comes with an adapter to extend them. Okay, so if you have to extend it, I have a couple of these. You can, I, I can actually extend them. Like I said, you just got to make sure the positive stays positive, and the negative stays negative, guys. Okay, it's really important on that part, guys. Just make sure you check that. Like I said, I probably will. I probably change everything for the solar to XT60s. That way, I know what goes where, and I can fix all that stuff up later. With, 
had plenty of those things. All right, was there anything else? You know, guys, I think that's what I have so far. Uh, like I said, I do have an SAE that goes in, that could, I can actually drill a hole and, and it will seal that, but I'm probably not gonna use that for this. The only other thing I need to worry about is where do I want to put all the, the plugs and everything? Do I wanna put them on the front? Do I wanna put them on the side? Do I wanna put them on both sides? That's something I need to come up with. Let me know your guys' ideas also on that. The way it will, the reason I say that is because in my truck, or in my Forerunner, well my Forerunner doesn't really matter, it could be on the side or the front, either one I'll be able to see. In my trailer it doesn't really matter at all, I have more room in there, but in my truck, it'll be sitting, like the door will be opening here, it'll be sitting here, so it might be better to have everything right here. I don't think I, ha well I may have enough room to turn it sideways, so it may go in the front, but let me know what you guys think. Leave me some comments guys, if you, if you see anything that I forgot, or you think I should add, anything that I should change, anything at all, guys. Just put it down there. I'm not gonna get mad. I, I actually welcome it, guys. I'm asking you for this. I'm asking the people that watch my videos to tell me what you guys would like to see. All right, great. So pretty much most of the things I bought here for this box, I got off of Amazon. I will leave links if you're interested in any of those. It does help the channels. I do make a small percentage off some sales, not all sales but uh, it does help the channel a little bit. So, like I said, leave your comments if you have some ideas there, and uh, I can't wait to see that part. All right, guys, well, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I, hopefully you got some ideas if you're thinking about building something like this, and hopefully you guys can uh, give me some ideas down in the comment section. I really wanna see what you guys have and what you would put in your own box. It may, I may or may not use it, but uh, it's interesting to see what people will use and it might help somebody else watching the video when they go through the comments. So if you did like the video, hit, hit like. And if you're new here, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, that way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I know your time is valuable, and I really appreciate it. You guys, hopefully, hopefully uh, someday we'll be out on a camp out, and I'll get to see your solar dinner, and we can compare. 73, all.